How you guys doing? You alright? You okay? Yeah? Okay, nice one. It's nice to be here. I'm Nathan. Uh, I'm quite new to comedy. Uh, I recently had to start finding something new to do with my evenings, you see. Because uh, I'll be honest, the Jeffrey Dahmer impersonation business has not... <laughs> it's quite unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> this is not what most people mean when they say they want a killer look, but here we are. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah, it's, it's lovely to be here. It is lovely to be here, guys, in front of you all in South London, eh? South of the river, yeah? In the, in the ends, yes, in the ends, yes? Yeah? In amongst my mandem, yes, nice to... <laughs> yes, well, go on to you all, yes? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've watched Top Boy once, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it is, it is it really, it, honestly, it's lovely to be in London, guys, because I, I don't come from London. Um, I'm from uh, a town called uh, Bracknell. Have any of you ever heard of Bracknell, been to Bracknell? Oh. Okay, now we've got a lot of survivors in the room, lovely. Uh, yeah, if you've, if you've never been there, uh, let me describe it to you, right? Uh, imagine a warehouse, okay? And that's Bracknell, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's the whole thing. It's also incredibly chavvy as well. It's like if someone tried to build an entire town, but just out of things that they've bought at Wilco. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't quite fit in in Bracknell because they have quite a lot of sort of laddie lads around there. Like, oh, you sort of laddie lads. And I'll be honest, that's uh, not me, as you can see. Um, yeah, like the other day I was in the pub with them and they were like, oh, Nathan, check out those birds. And my sorry ass looked up in the sky. <laughs> So yeah, it's been it's been oh hello again yes <laughs> no it's been yeah it's, it's been interesting moving to Bracknell I'm I'm kind of on my own there at the moment though uh, I've got a couple of cats to keep me company any of you guys got cats yeah, yeah. any of you guys got dogs yeah. okay that's interesting do you know what I don't like I don't like when people are like oh I'm a cat person dogs are terrible or like oh I'm a dog person cats are terrible I don't like that at all in my opinion uh, they're both delicious. I tried that joke down in Devon a couple of weeks ago, but they didn't quite get it. <laughs> they were like, well, yeah, we know they're both delicious, but what's the punchline? I mean... <laughs> to be fair, that makes sense, because Devon's the only place where a family WhatsApp group doubles up as Tinder. But there we are. Right, okay, we'll, 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 we'll judge it based on that because the, the rest of the set is kind of in the same vein. Uh, no, I, <laughs> no I, um, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't quite know why I got into comedy. I think it's um, something to do with the fact that I was scarred growing up. Because, um, yeah, the comedians are laughing at that one, they know. Uh, but, like, um, no, I, it's tough for me to talk about, but um, it was my dad. He, uh, he used to make me uh, watch Tottenham. Yeah, being a Tottenham fan, you do get bullied at school quite a lot. Um, and as someone who recently moved out to Bracknell for work, I was told, um, like, getting bullied at school gets easier with time, and it'll get easier for you. Uh, but that's complete nonsense. As somebody who's moved out to Bracknell for work, let me tell you, uh, getting bullied at school is actually at its worst after you've uh, qualified to become a teacher. <laughs> yeah, my, my surname is Ball, right? So you can imagine... <laughs> The fucking fun those kids have with me, my God. The nicknames, Mr. Ballsack. <laughs> Mr. Bollock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, uh... <laughs> he fucking loved that, didn't he? Jesus. I'll be honest, my personal favorite nickname is Scratch and Sniff. That's my favorite one. Uh, so yeah, no, it's, it's interesting being a teacher. Quite, it's quite challenging being a teacher, especially nowadays with this modern generation of kids that we've got, Generation Z, Gen Z. Have any of you guys met anyone in Gen Z before? Yeah, a few of you, a few of you. Um, if, you've, if you've never met anyone in Gen Z before, um, don't... <laughs> like, uh, Generation Z, they are ridiculous, right? They are both the smartest and dumbest generation of people to have ever lived in the history of planet Earth. They have got like the technical knowledge of Professor Stephen Hawking, right? The problem is they've got the social skills and the practical abilities of Professor Stephen Hawking. 